Hello, in this lesson we're going to discuss functions and we're going to discuss functions with respect to already having been through a college algebra course. So most of the relationships that we're going to be working with in calculus deal with an independent variable and a dependent variable. And when you have that independent variable that corresponds to exactly one value of the dependent variable, that's when you have a function. So algebraically, we're going to look at these functions, and we're going to look at them again from the perspective of one who has been through a college algebra course, who knows what these functions look like by looking at their equation. So that's a big part of college algebra, is being able to connect the algebraic representation with the graphical representation. So in number one, we know that number one, or 1a, this right here, is a linear function. A linear function is indeed a function. So this creates a line in which its graph passes the vertical line test. In B, we know that that algebraic representation corresponds to a circle. Circles fail the vertical line test, therefore circles are not functions. We call them relations. C, x squared plus y equals 1, if we were to solve that for y, we would realize that that is just a quadratic equation in which the parabola is opening down. That is also a function. And our last one, D, if we solve that for x, we know that that's a parabola. However, it's a parabola opening to the left. That's from our conic sections in college algebra. Now, this book will explain it in another way. They rewrite the equation so that you can test values. You can see, okay, if I put a value in for x, do I get two different values for y? And you can see that that's the case in b and d. So our answer here is, yes, this linear function is indeed a function. b, this circle, is not a function. C, this quadratic equation is a function. And D, this quadratic equation, however, it's a quadratic equation with respect to X instead of with respect, I mean, with respect to Y instead of with respect to X. Therefore, it's not. It is probably opening to the left. And these are some good examples that your textbook gives you that shows how to take your original equation, equation, rewrite it, and then kind of look at it from that perspective. 